Hey beloved, Krista Pettiford here. In today's video, I want to talk about hope in God. Hope is confident expectation. Hope is connected to expectation and fulfillment of God's promises. Hope in God is the confident expectation that God will do what he said. Hebrews 11, 1 says, faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Romans 8.25 says, but if we hope for what we do not see, we wait for it with patience. Romans 4.18 says that Abraham hoped against hope, meaning that when his situation seemed hopeless, he continued to hope in God. So hope is activated by faith in God's promises that God will do what he said. So God told you something, or you found a promise in his word that relates to your circumstances, or you were giving a true prophetic word or promise from God that your spirit has latched onto and bears witness to. But you don't see it, and it seems impossible, but you know that you know that you know that God spoke to you. It's the prayer that you prayed for that child, for that loved one. For that person who is sick for that hopeless and impossible situation but you have faith to believe that god can do the impossible that's your stuff that's your substance the confident expectation in god that he will do what he said he would do that he can work it out for you but maybe you've lost hope because the last time you hope for something, you feel like you were let down or God didn't come through for you. But God wants to restore your hope. The devil wants to rob you of hope so that you never put your hope in God again or you give up. He wants to rob your hope based on the last thing that you hoped for that didn't happen. But sometimes God doesn't give us something because it's not time or because he sees the end from the beginning and knows that in this season it will harm us or it was never right for us. Sometimes things work out differently than we expect because of what Ecclesiastes 9-11 calls time and chance. The unexpected, unfortunate events to, that happens to us all and has the power to change the trajectory of our lives. These are the unexpected things like death, divorce, disaster that rob us of our hope and our expectation for a better future that make us afraid to hope again because something tragic, disappointing happened when we put our trust in God. Here's the thing. God can make all things work together for our good, even the hard, hurtful things that we don't understand and that don't make sense when they happen to us. If we can move beyond, if you can move beyond what happened to you, when we move beyond what happened to us, what didn't go our way, the events that brought that brought on by living in a fallen world, the events brought on by living in a fallen world with fallen people, including ourselves, and trust that God has a hope and a future for you, then regardless of what didn't happen the way that you thought it would or the way I thought it would, how, how things ended, in the last thing, who left, who did something wrong to you, God still has a hope and a future for you. Even if your current circumstances seem impossible and insurmountable. So here's how to hope in God. Hoping in God is hoping in his ultimate plan for you, that his promises will come through, even when it looks impossible. God will fulfill his purpose and plan in your life and bring you to the expected end that he has for you. It may not look like you thought it would. Look at Naomi, for example. Her husband and her sons died, but because she found the, core, the courage to move forward, even though she felt hopeless and was questioning her future, God revealed and restored her hope first, and then he revealed and restored her life. Her future and her life would look nothing like her past. Her, your story may not happen like, like hers. Most likely it will not because every person's story is different and we have different promises and expectations from God. But when we put our hope in God, he can bring us to an expected end, 
even if it doesn't look like our story did at the beginning. He still has a hope and a future for you. So how do you stay, keep your hope in God? You stay focused on your present season and not the past. You let go of the past. And like Abraham, you give him glory and you wait patiently on him to fulfill his promises. The Bible says that when he hoped against hope, that he gave glory to God. And in his giving glory to God, he was fully persuaded that God would do what he said he would do, that he would perform his promise. And so even if your past hope in your current circumstances a circumstance and situation you can continue to hope in God even if you are your last situation didn't work out the way you thought it was God can renew your hope for your future like he did for Naomi so I don't know where you are at but I pray over you that you continue to put your hope in God if you have lost hope that you would allow God to renew your hope that hope would rise in you for the future that God has for you. And you can know that even if things have not worked out, God is not done. Your story is not over. Whatever you've gone through or you're going through right now is just a chapter in your story, in the book that God is writing of you. God bless you until next time. And I pray that this video um, wholeheartedly blesses you. Let me know in the comment if this helped restore hope in you. Let me know how I can pray for you. God bless you. Until next time.